Yo, what's up YouTube? So we got my first Panda by haul review. Now in this haul, we have about 8 kg worth of items. This parcel includes three hoodies, three pants, two rings, and a bracelet, all costing a total of 287. Shipping cost was about 175 and it took two weeks to ship with GDEMS to the East Coast. Now stay tuned towards the end of the video where I'll be trying on all the items in this haul. Now all the items that you guys see in this video will be on my link tree on my Instagram bio. I'll keep you guys posted on when I drop my spreadsheet. Guys, the first item we're going to be looking at is this Supreme box logo hoodie that we got from the seller Logan for about 30 bucks. Bogo, the stitching, I really do not see any flaws with this. And the canvas on this, like the material is just insane. This feels just like retail. The inside has that cotton lining and here's a closer look at that wash tag supreme new york 100 percent cotton the drawstring on these comes just like retail with the little knots at the end and it's frayed kind of it's for the inside tags here's a closer look at the supreme one and the one on the side it says made in canada this is the bottom side of the tags it says the sizing on the left one made in canada as well towards the bottom there's also another little supreme tag sitting on the side I don't see any visible flaws with this tag. Here's the back side, it says Supreme on both sides. As for the material on this, it's like thick. Like this will definitely keep you warm. If Now if you're in a warm state, I do not recommend you wearing this shit outside. Overall, I give this hoodie about a nine out of 10. The detailing to the stitching to everything on this hoodie just looks good to me. For 30 bucks, it's completely worth it. As for the sizing, I think you could go true to size on this, but if you're a little bit chubby, you might want to size up. For the second item in this haul, we got that spider pink black hoodie from the same seller Logan, and this one ran me about 31 bucks. Here's a closer look at that puff print where it says never mind the spider pink here's the slime i mean it looks good to me the webbing on the back also looks good as for the tag on the inside of the hoodie i couldn't find it anywhere so i'm guessing it just wasn't printed on it which is a flaw but no one's really gonna be looking at the inside of the hoodie as long as you're wearing it now here are those iconic scattered stars they're all over the hoodie they're on the sleeves on the middle and some do say five just like retail now on the inside there is a sizing tag towards the side of the hoodie it says spider and the sizing here's a look at the back the tag looks pretty good all the printing on it and as for the back it does have that star logo towards the top of the hoodie the print feels pretty good on it overall and here's more of the stars on the side now for the quality on this hoodie i'd say it's more like on the thinner side there are definitely better batches out there but remember i bought this hoodie a while back and it was already in my warehouse so i just shipped it either way I wasn't trying to go through the hassle of returning it so i just copped it now for the sizing you could go true to size on this and i'll just give this hoodie an overall probably like a 7 out of 10 there are little minor flaws on it but it's nothing too crazy that people will notice plus like no, one, no one's gonna legit check your shit out bro like there is a better seller for this i'm pretty sure it's caesar but it just depends on how much you want to spend on this hoodie now for the third item in this haul we got a black revenge hoodie this hoodie ran me about 15 bucks from ffcp studios the puff print towards the front does feel like pretty good quality to me and i noticed that towards the top there wasn't any drawstrings i don't know if real ones bring them but here's a look at that tag the tag does look pretty good it says revenge and the sizing on it i noticed the rip sweep on the bottom of the hoodie isn't as thick as it is on retails that's not too crazy of a fly i just wanted to point it out now the inside is it does have that cotton feel to it it's very soft now here's a look at the back side with a big puff print of i'm pretty sure that's x's hand on the back of the hoodie now for it being a puff print it sticks out a lot the quality on the puff print feels pretty good to me all throughout the back you can see all the little details on the hand now on the sleeve there is that same puff print on it all the way throughout the sleeve from the very top towards the bottom of the cuff the side of the sleeve reads revenge is in the creator's hands if you can't read it and here's that rib cuff the sizing on it is true to size and for it being 15 bucks i'll give it an 8 out of 10. moving on to the next item we have some gallery department inspired jeans from the seller c and these ran me about 26 bucks like i said these are inspired jeans i didn't really see any gallery department branding on these now on the button and on the inside of the jeans i really didn't see any gallery department tagging on it Here's a look at that paint splatter towards the top. I bought these more for the look. I wasn't really too focused on little details on it. Now, these are flare towards the bottom and they do have a little bit of distressing on it. Now towards the back, we could just see that same theme of paint splatter all throughout the pants. Here's a closer look at those back pockets. These are sort of like cargos with pockets on the side. Now off the look and price of these, I'd probably give them an 8 out of 10. If it just like regular jeans, not for the sizing, I'm pretty sure you could just go true to size. Next up, we have some Vujade inspired bag zipper double knee pants from the same seller Siwa and these ran me about 32 bucks. Then again, this is another pair of inspired pants. There's no Vujade branding on the inside or anything. There's a sizing tag. There was a hanging tag on these that I guess the seller puts on his pants. It just says the name of his shop. Here's a look on that double knee and there are shiny rivets around the pants on the waistline and towards the double knee as well. These do have a bit of flaring towards the bottom just like Vujade pants. I'm pretty sure there's a green colorway, a black colorway. 
and then these i got the brown version now towards the back these do have like an adjustable waist buckle with then again those shiny rivets surrounding the back pockets and towards the bottom it's those iconic zippers that come on the back side of these now these do open but there's no pocket on the inside of it it's just more of like an aesthetic type of thing as you can see me trying to open it there's not really anything on the inside quality on these is pretty decent the sizing is true to size and for the style and price i'll give these an 8 out of 10. if you'd like the little bujade details i recommend you probably go with a different seller for my favorite item in this haul so far we got the denim tier jeans i got these from the seller to the top for 46 bucks these denim tier jeans do have a lot of detail to them here's a closer look on that button on the middle he's got the middle buttons running all the way down to look at that levi's sizing tag with the levi's authorized vintage print on it and we got that denim tier pattern going all along the side of the pants and i'd have to say the quality on these is actually crazy like these feel just like an authentic pair of levi pants on the back side we have a denim tiers tag just like the authentic pair looks pretty clean now towards the bottom we have that little levi's tag just stitched to the back pocket and we can see that same tier denim pattern just running all along the back of these including the back pockets if I were to recommend you buy anything in this haul, it'd definitely be these jeans. These jeans are just over the top crazy. But definitely a 10 out of 10. Now for the sizing, you could go true to size. Now for what's left for the haul, I bought some Chrome Hearts jewelry. They all came from the same seller, Jewelry Jack. And I would recommend this seller if you guys are looking for any Chrome Hearts jewelry. They all came in this black box with Chrome Hearts branding towards the front. And a little Chrome Hearts bag. Buying Rev Jewelry, in my opinion, is iffy, but I did a lot of research on this seller, and he sells certified 925 sterling silver, so I don't think this will turn your skin green. There have been a lot of people online that have tested this jewelry for lead, and it just comes out negative, so I'm pretty sure you'll be fine with these. And on top of that, these pieces are pretty accurate, so I definitely recommend this seller. All these pieces also came with a little chrome heart suede pouch and a little polishing tool that you see right there. Here's a look on that branding towards the front, Chrome Hearts USA. He also does include a little bit of Chrome Hearts tissue inside of the box. To look at the Chrome Hearts paper chain bracelet that I got for 37 bucks. Each little link does have Chrome Hearts branding. I also got this Forever Ring for about $38. All little details, all little crosses towards the side of the ring. Here's a look on where it says CH Forever Ring towards the side of it now as for the material this really does feel like 925 sterling silver it doesn't feel like no cheap shit so this is a cop in my opinion and on the inside it also states 925 sterling silver just like the real uh forever spacer ring says 2003 925 now for the last item in the haul we got this chrome hearts rolling stones ring and this is also from the same seller this ran me about 27 dollars you can see it has all the little details and the pouch and the polishing tool and on the inside it also has that same 925 sterling silver branding with the year it was made Here's a closer look at the ring on. Now here's a look on how the pants and the hoodies look. Forgot to show you guys the denim tears branding on the inside of the pocket. That'll basically wrap up the video. If you guys stuck to the end, I got more hauls coming soon. Then again, make sure to check the link on my Instagram bio for these items. If you guys got any questions, please let me know down below. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.